Let's go ahead and get into the Disney news, guys. And this is pretty freaking exciting right here. So over the weekend, I think this was maybe like Friday or Saturday or something. I remember being at work when I picked up on this. Um, but Disney is apparently getting back into physical media in a big way per the new CEO, Bob Iger, or the old new CEO, Bob Iger, who came back in to take over for Bob Chepik, I think it was his name, uh, who was not doing a good job. But Bob Iger came back and, you know, he's been making a lot of a good decisions since he came back. You know, he's doing the whole, he's trying to like restructure Marvel. He's saying like quality over quantity because a lot of the Marvel movies, let's be honest, guys, has kind of sucked recently. So he's making some good moves, but definitely the coolest and most exciting thing that he's, you know, announced so far was that he wants to get back into physical media. And I don't know if this was like an article in a magazine or some kind of transcript from, from an interview from him, uh, but this dropped over the weekend. And this was via Ultra HD Blu-ray that I first saw this on Twitter. And it was some kind of interview with Bob Iger. And apparently he wants to revisit distributing content across all channels, including legacy home entertainment. And he said, it goes on to say that Iger believes the push towards streaming theatrical titles undermine the licensing and retail business. No crap, right? Uh, home video at one point, as we called it, was extremely lucrative for our company, Iger says. We're looking at all of that again. Uh, the CEO believes content can coexist on traditional distribution platforms and streaming without damaging either due to differing platform audiences. Like, I could not agree more. Like, this is something I've been talking about, I feel like, for a couple of years, ever since I got this channel started and started having conversations with a bunch of people. Streaming and physical can coexist. They do in my house. I watch physical movies. I got a crap ton of movies physically back there. I also watch a lot of stuff on streaming. They both have their place. Now I get that some people are like full on physical media, that's all they watch. And some people are strictly physical media. There's a lot of people out there like, like me, like I'm, I'm sure a lot of you all out there that do both. We have our physical collections that we you know hold near and dear to our hearts. And we also have Netflix and we have HBO Max and we have all this and Disney Plus and all these other streaming services. So yes, they can coexist. No crap, it doesn't have to be one or the other, it can be both. So this is very exciting that Bob Iger actually gets it. He actually gets home entertainment. You can have physical copies. Like don't miss out on that money because the money you can make from all these exclusives and releasing all these older films that haven't been put out on Blu-ray or 4K yet. Like that's tons of money like in your pocket. Like yes, revisit that. We're, we're hungry, we're craving this stuff. Like you're gonna make so much money. I promise you, if you start releasing some of these old Fox titles on 4K or even Blu-ray, just all the stuff that you guys have, you're sitting on a mountain of entertainment that we all, and nostalgia that we all miss and love from our childhood. And we want it on physical media. We want it, Bob Iger. So give it to us, give it to us good. And uh, that sounded weird. But anyway, I just hope that this doesn't mean let's do more Marvel and Star Wars and, and old school Disney animated stuff. Even though I love the animated stuff from back in the 80s and all the old school, Snow White and all that stuff. I, I love all that stuff, but I hope this doesn't mean that we're going to do 50,000 editions of Snow White on 4K or we're going to do the original Star Wars trilogy, a new box set of that, or I would love that it, it too, though. I would love that too. I'm just saying I don't want only Star Wars Marvel and, and Disney animated stuff. I hope that doesn't mean we're going to ramp up in those areas and not focus on the Fox catalog that they own. Like, start, start looking into that stuff, Disney. Like, I don't know. It just... This is exciting. I, I'm still kind of, I'm tempering my expectations. I want to wait to see what they do. I, I definitely still think it's a good idea that they would start to license some of their stuff out to some of these other companies like Aero Video, Shout Factory, Criterion, even like they did with Wally -E last year. I still think that's a good idea because I feel like in the hands of some of these boutique companies, it's definitely going to be better than if they did it themselves. But still, like there's just so much stuff I want on Blu-ray that Disney owns. So like if they could just do that, like that would be incredible. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about the Bob Iger statements and announcements and all this stuff that he's saying in this interview. Let me know your thoughts on all that in the comment section below. Anyway, I know there's so many possibilities with this announcement. Like it's not definitely not set in stone that we could be getting all the things that we want and love and desire on home physical media anytime soon. But it's definitely a step in the right direction, and I appreciate it. I appreciate Bob Iger saying that. I am definitely a fan of Bob Iger for these statements. And it's like, who knew, guys, that you know, cutting out a, a revenue stream was a bad idea? It's like, why would you just 
put all of your eggs in one basket, the streaming basket. That's so like moronic, but like that's not that's not how good business works. You expand, you don't decrease and narrow your focus. But anyway, that that's just my thought. And Bob Iger gets it. He's a good businessman. So I'm I'm happy, uh, happy with Bob Iger right now. We'll see where it goes, but I'm happy with him. Uh, but anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts. I know you guys got thoughts on Disney and physical media. Let me know in that comment section below.